Previously on Flatbush Cats, you met Sal and Sonny, two kittens we rescued from the street. And then you met their brother, Giorgio, who we found several weeks later. Although we weren't able to rescue him right away, we came back for him later. But what about Giorgio's friend, Frankie? She hadn't made her mind up yet about coming inside. Frankie was part of a large trap neuter return project at that colony. Sometimes when you find one kitten, it's like pulling a thread and you learn that there are a dozen more cats at that exact same spot who also need to be spayed or neutered and possibly rescued. I still came back to see Frankie every day, not just to feed her, but to make sure that every cat at this colony was spayed or neutered. That's the most important and the most impactful thing that we can do as trap neuter return volunteers. And by spending time with her every day, Frankie began to trust me just a little bit more. Just because an outdoor cat meows at you or raises her tail when you arrive, doesn't necessarily mean she's not feral. There's a term people use called feeder friendly, which is when feral cats get comfortable with a specific person. But that doesn't mean they want to live indoors. It's hard to describe exactly why I thought Frankie might be different. Even though she preferred to stay just out of reach, orbiting me like a furry moon, I just had a feeling that she wanted to come closer. She just needed to overcome her fear. Maybe she'd had a bad experience in the past. Maybe she was willing to try again. Her initial response was pretty positive. Even though she's only been inside for a few minutes, Frankie is showing her belly as a sign of trust and safety. My goal for the first few days was just to let her settle in. We didn't worry too much about socialization yet. This is just an old towel, but now it was her towel. And she got her own pillow too. You can follow the same socialization process with shy adult cats as you do with kittens, making sure that every meal time is when you do your socialization work and that they associate you with food. And you can use playtime to help build confidence. I'm pretty sure Frankie had never seen one of these before, but she got the hang of it pretty quickly. And a few days later, Frankie finally began to feel safe around me. She let me introduce her to the brush 
which can actually be pretty great. And now that she's happy, healthy, and comfortable indoors, it's time for her forever home. We found her a loving family where she could be the center of attention. She even got her own big brother. And with Frankie all settled in, we could get back to working on the rest of the colony.